All right, who knows this wall? Yeah. Woo. All right, so this is what it looked like in 2016, but the reality is, is this wall has been inspiration for many people before us and for the rest of the country or Providence. I, I worked with Tape Art for five years. I worked on a number of people before me, but in the 90s, there's actually projected art on here during Convergence. Does anyone know what Convergence is? Convergence was an amazing public art program run by Bob Rizzo that became an inspiration for many artists to move to uh, Providence, where he filled the cities with public art and they became inspirations for all these different parts and pieces. But what happened for us when we took over this wall or when we were asked to do this wall is someone bought a building, which was where Need Donuts is, and they said, wow, look at all the work you guys are doing. How do we bring that attention to our building with this huge facade? So they pitched this idea and said, we'll make a movie screen, we'll project movies on it, can you help us do that? We said, that's great, but that's not really what we do as an organization. We want to inspire people. We want to do things that are outside the box. We want to have fun with it. So we came up with some renderings for him, and this is Hence. This is a ama pretty amazing artist who does a lot of very abstract art. It's also a concept that a lot of developers in Providence like to think that if you don't have a story behind the work, if you just have abstract color, no one's going to not like it. It's going to be something that no one can argue about. What we've also learned over the years is that you either love it or hate it. It's big wow factor. It has a lot of color. There is no content. But because it doesn't have content, it means that there's like no middle ground. So we ran into a couple challenges when we were doing presentations. And part of that is, that wall that you saw is actually not part of the building that you thought it was part of. There's something in the middle called a parting wall. Does anyone know here know what a parting wall is? So when you have a, a two buildings together, as you can see in this demonstration, and one building gets destroyed, this wall between, this is part of this building, but this outer wall is not. That is part of the other building. It supports the inside truss of all the walls and parts and pieces. In Providence, as you drive around, there's a lot of buildings that buildings were torn down, turned in the parking lots, and all of a sudden the wall you're looking at is actually the inside of an exterior wall, which is not owned by the building you think it's part of. So then we had to kind of start from scratch. We had to come up with new ideas. So uh, with our program manager, Nick uh, Platzer, just literally threw a gazillion things up on the table. Who are the artists in the world? What are the things that are most interesting? Lots of different contents, lots of different stories, lots of different ideas. Um, this is part of the challenge. You're trying to build the trust of a developer, which sometimes has creativity, sometimes doesn't. But you're also looking at the rest of the world as who's trending, who's available, who's traveling the world, who's going to be in America at a certain time. So these are all the pieces. This is Roa. This is Nitros. This is Faith 47. Um, Roa is an amazing artist. Nitros actually came, but ended up on Jones Warehouse. Faith 47, we're still in connection bringing here, but the content is always iffy. And when it's really pushing it really far, it gets really challenging. So the end result is Ari's. And Ari's is an artist that we actually reviewed around the same time with Betts in the ring with uh, She Never Came. Um, my understanding, and Nick can correct me, but Betts actually learned a lot of his style from Ari's. Um, but the challenge with these artists and these new styles that are, are coming out is when you've done huge walls all over the world, you don't really want to work on hard walls. And unfortunately, Providence, with all these retaining walls and parting walls, is that they become very rough. They're not flat canvases. They're not gesso, you know, stretched things that are smooth. So you have to figure out ways of working with artists that can really try something new and different, are willing to take a risk, and are willing to take their ideas that they're doing in other parts of the world and bring it to Providence. So. In 2018, we had no artists. We had an amazing portfolio of people. We had some challenges. Um, and we came down to you know, some two emerging artists that we were really excited about. Gaia, who you know now. But we also had Magnus, who's an amazing contemporary painter down in Miami. Um, very abstract, a lot of flower, a lot of flora, something we think is trending still today. Um, but we ended up with Gaia, and Gaia really likes uh, erasure and uh, really understanding the history of a city and what was there before. Uh, he presented us with a number of different renderings. This is one of them. 
the idea of a historical photograph painted in realism, but then having a sort of visual about what was there before, sort of the grasses and the reeds. Um, this was another one, so it's sort of taking uh, sort of the sculptures of the Roman style of Providence and sort of breaking it up um, and doing it within the context of the grasses and sort of imagine when the city of Providence wasn't there and this was a big open river. Um, pushing it even further, doing the historical photograph of where it used to be when it was a grocery store and a, a, a plant place where it had um, uh, flowers and other sort of horror culture there, but also dealing with words and making it even more visual and more contextual with human figures. Um, but the end result was this. And another challenge that we have when you're working with artists with Photoshop is it's a lot of clip art. And as an organization, we have to figure out how to interpret this into what you see there now. And it's often very different. And there's a lot of trust. There's a lot of conversation. There's a lot of examples of this is the work that artists have done, and this is what it's going to look like. But when you're there and you're pitching it to someone and it's a 120-foot wall, you have to convince them and figure out how to do that. And this is one of the challenges. But the end result is this. And I think you guys have all gotten to appreciate the value of this and part of our organization, what we're trying to do is also understand what that value is to you guys. So if any time you can give us some feedback and help us understand if this is really making an impact in your community or if it's not, you know, we'd really appreciate that. So thank you very much.